Good morning. Welcome to Kiss TV's election news update coming up in this hour. Provisional results place Ryla ahead of Ruto in vote tally. And some polling stations are yet to relay documents to the National Tallying Center at Bomas of Kenya. And some presiding officers have been arrested in Matunga. For these and more, join us. A very warm welcome to you. Provisional results as at 7.30 a.m. this morning indicate that Azimiola Moja presidential candidate Raila Odinga has 5,217,522 votes, closely followed by Kenya Kwanzaa presidential candidate William Ruto with 4,784,048 votes. Roots Party presidential candidate George Ojakoya has 44,416 votes, while Agano Party's David Maure was trailing with 22,000 997 votes. Only 158 polling stations had not sent result documents to the National Tallying Center at Bomas of Kenya almost two days after voting ended. 46,071 polling stations had successfully transmitted Form 34As out of the 46,229 stations gazetted across the country. The success rate now stands at 99.6% as at 6.30 a.m. today. Yesterday, IBC Chairman Wafula Chabukati said the Commission will wait for the original Form 34As from polling stations, verify with the transmitted image before it starts tallying. Returning officers are expected to travel to the Bombers of Kenya to hand-deliver the primary results documents. At least two presiding officers have been arrested by police officers for allegedly engaging in electoral mall practice at the Kenya School of Government in Matuga sub-county. They were from Vuga primary polling stations. They were arrested after being accused of conspiring to alter the outcome of the votes results. A Muhai MP, Amboko Milemba, has successfully defended his seat. Milemba was announced winner after garnering 27,717 votes against his closest challenger, Ebola Johnson, who had a paltry 3,185 votes. The voter turnout in the constituency was at 62.8%. 31,559 of the 50,184 registered voters. And finally, in away from election news, police in Kisi's Milimani estate have launched a manhunt for a teacher who fled shortly after allegedly killing his son over a theft of 20 shillings. The body of the 11-year-old, a grade 5 pupil at Mercy Junior Academy in Mwembe, Nyeribari, Chache, was discovered dumped in a banana farm yesterday morning by villagers. The boy had bruises on his back and feet. Thank you indeed for joining us for this bulletin. More updates will be throughout the day on KISS TV Election News Update. My name is Suzanne Kimasha.